I'll bet it does. You can rinse your mouth out now. It wasn't bad, was it? No, it hurt a little bit, but not near as much as I thought it would. That's fine. By the way, Dan, these x-rays we took the last time you were here show two teeth that have signs of decay. They don't need filling yet, but we'll have to check up on them soon. Here, you can see the spots. They mean that decay is just starting. Sometimes very early decay can be stopped for a long time. Then they don't have to be filled. Of course, you have to take proper care of your teeth to stop decay and prevent future decay. But what do I have to do? First, you have to brush your teeth properly. Do you brush them every day? Oh, sure. Twice a day. Well, that's fine. But the important thing to remember is when do you brush them? Well, the first thing in the morning when I get up and just before I go to bed. You ought to brush them as soon as possible after eating, especially in the morning and in the evening. If you aren't where you can brush them at noon, you should at least rinse your mouth with water right after you eat. I'm sure I can do that, Dr. Orfield. I wonder how you brush your teeth. There are some ways of brushing teeth that don't do much good. Let's show them the right way. I've used this hundreds of times to show fellows like you and grown-ups too. First, you clean the cheek side of the upper teeth and the gums too. Brushing away from the gums, that helps remove the food particles. Next, you brush the tongue side of the upper teeth. Next, brush the lower ones. Finish up with the chewing surfaces. It's easy. Just takes practice to get the knack of it. Here, I could do that any day. Would you like to look at them, Dan? Yeah. You know, Dan, to help you remember what I've told you, I'd like to see you practice on your own teeth. In fact, I'm going to give you a present. Here's a brush you can keep. Gee, that's a dandy. Thanks a lot. Those bristles are just right for you. Is this right? Yes, that's good. Now work around to the other side and be sure to give your gums a good brushing, too. Couldn't I use toothpaste when I brush my teeth? Well, correct brushing is more important than the dentifrice. Of course, Dan, brushing alone won't stop decay. You need well-balanced meals. They're just as important to a healthy mouth as they are to a strong body. Oh, yes. We learned that in our science class. You need meat, milk, eggs, vegetables, and minerals, too. Well, that's true, but I wonder if you know there's one thing that will cause your teeth to decay in spite of good food and proper brushing. There is? What's that? It's sugar. Refined sugar. Sugar may cause tooth decay. Sugar? Yes. Sugar from foods you eat and some of the things you drink. You do drink pop and eat candy, don't you? Oh, sure. I eat that. Well, there's a lot of sugar in soft drinks. And, of course, there's sugar in candy and gum and many foods. In your mouth, that sugar changes to a kind of acid, and that may cause your teeth to decay. I didn't know that pop and gum and candy could hurt my teeth. Well, most people don't know it. But sweets can harm the teeth of almost anyone. That's because most sweets have refined sugar in them. Is that the kind we have at home? That's right. It's the kind you put on cereals to sweeten them. Then I'm going to tell you some things I think your mother ought to hear. Miss Taylor, will you ask Mrs. Adams to step in here for a minute, please? Oh, yes, Doctor. You see, Dan, there are lots of things with refined sugar in them. And as I told you, this sugar changes to acid in the mouth. I don't see how I can do that. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Adams, Ben and I were just talking about how refined sugar harms the teeth. 
I thought maybe you'd like to hear about it, too. Well, I've heard a little, Dr. Orfield, but I'd like to know more. I was telling Dan that sugar changes to acid in the mouth, and this acid causes tooth decay. Some of the bacteria in the mouth changes the sugar. Bacteria in the mouth? How do they get in the mouth? Well, they're there all the time, Dan, but it's when we eat sugar that they make acid. You've probably never seen any bacteria under a microscope before, have you? No, I haven't. Well, let's take a look at some, shall we? Okay. But first, we'll have to get some bacteria out of your mouth. Miss Taylor, may I have a slide, please? Now we'll have to scrape just a little. We'll hardly feel this. Miss Taylor, will you stain this, please? Staining the bacteria takes a few minutes. While we're waiting, do you have any questions you'd like to ask about the care of teeth? Yes, I have, Doctor. There's a question I've been meaning to ask you. I've heard a great deal about a chemical that can be used on the teeth to help prevent decay. Is that a good thing to use? It certainly is. We use a fluoride solution, and we have evidence that for some people, this fluoride treatment helps prevent decay. As a matter of fact, I was going to suggest to you that at Dan's next visit, we start giving his teeth this chemical treatment. Chemical? You're going to put some chemical in my mouth? Won't that hurt? No, not a bit. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even taste bad. Here, let me show you how it's done. First, I'd have to clean your teeth. And then I'd take a little of this solution. These cotton pads keep your mouth free from saliva. We paint the surfaces of the teeth very carefully all over. And we let it dry for about three minutes and that's all there's to it. Of course this solution won't stop decay, but it will help prevent it from getting started. Here's the slide, Doctor. Oh, the slide's ready, thank you. Let's step over this way and take a look at this through the microscope. All right, Dan. Thank you. There you are, Dan. Those are bacteria from your own teeth. Would you like to have a look, Mrs. Adams? Yes, I would. Say, that was something. I've never seen bacteria through a microscope before. And there are a lot of them in my mouth? Yes, there are millions of them in everyone's mouth. But they only make acid when there's sugar in the mouth. They can change to acid. What can I do about them? Well, I don't suppose you'll stop eating sugar altogether. But as the next best thing, I would suggest that you stop eating sweets between meals. Don't forget that toothbrush I gave you, Dan. You know, everyone should have at least two brushes, so we can always use a dry one. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You know, I've been thinking, if I'm going to have to give up soft drinks and candy and cookies and cake between meals, I'm going to get awful hungry. Oh, you're wrong about that, Dan. There are a lot of treats that you can eat without hurting your teeth, like popcorn, nuts, meat sandwiches, and cheese. Oh, I'll admit taking care of your teeth is a big job, but it's worth it. Do you think you can handle it? Well, looks like I'd better try my best. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Dan. We'll check your teeth again in about six months. Now, be sure you avoid sweets between meals and do a good job of brushing your teeth after meals. 
Well, I'll try my best, Dr. Rothfield. Well, that's fine, Dan. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye,